Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to Behind The Reel. I'm your host, John, and today we're gonna do a quick little walkthrough of my 2005 ZX225. This thing's actually up for sale, so if you guys are interested, definitely reach out to me. But we're out here at the lake, gonna do a quick walkthrough. Let's go ahead and get right to it. All right, you guys, so we're gonna just start up at the bow here. And as you can see, I have the old Trex trolling motor on here. Um, I, I will sell it with that, but I have it listed with a Ford Trex. I do have a Ford Trex trolling motor. It doesn't have the spot lock feature that the old Trex has, uh, but still a great motor nonetheless. Um, so that's what's gonna be coming on here for the price that I have it listed as. You're seeing a Mega 360 and a Mega Live transducer. Uh, currently, I have two graphs mounted up here, two Humminbird Helix units, and these are gonna be mounted on the RMP uh, Versa mounts, and then I have this MDI transducer mounted on the Russell Marine Products transducer trolling motor mount as well. So um, those mounts, at least the one up front, will come with, uh, I have it listed with the one graph up front, so it will come with at least one Versa mount and the transducer uh, mount for the trolling motor there that you see. But if you guys are interested in picking this up the way I have it rigged out, we can definitely work out a deal. I'm motivated to sell this thing, just trying to get some finances in order. Really don't want to sell it, and I don't have another boat to currently run at the moment, so we'll be fishing a lot more out of the kayak once I sell this thing, but this really has been a great boat for me. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and kind of show you what we've done up here to the front since we've got it. I'm gonna turn this camera around. Okay, so we're gonna start up here at the bow, and as you can see, I have this bow plate. This is something that I've added. There was a flush mounted unit in here, and I didn't want a flush mount unit, and it just kind of looked junky up here, so I replaced it with this. This is from Ashmore Marine Products. They have similar options for other brands of boats as well, if you guys are interested. These are the RMP Versa mounts, super heavy duty. I've got my units mounted up here. And then we've got the Comfort Troll trolling motor tray here that my foot pedal sits in I added that as well definitely like having the the recessed foot pedal tray that is something I would highly recommend if you are running a bass boat and you don't have one of these definitely look into the comfort trolls they are definitely worth every penny the deck of the boat is still in pretty good condition the carpet's definitely not brand new but you don't have a whole bunch of wear and tear on it either so real nice, spacious deck up here. You've got a bunch of storage. We'll go ahead and bust into these compartments and show you exactly what we got. But first, we'll give you a good visual of the consoles. They're in pretty good shape. You got a couple extra holes here and there, but we've got the Versa mount at the console here as well. Um, really heavy duty option. Uh, we've got a lot of guys that run these in you know, real rough conditions, big water. Uh, definitely comes highly recommended there, um, but got the dual console to keep your passenger nice and dry. And then here we've got a good look at the interior. It's really in pretty good shape. Uh, these seats are definitely not brand new, but if you look real close at them, they're pretty nice still. And you've got some storage down here. You know, hey, this isn't a brand new boat. It's a little, it's a little dirty, but the gauge clusters and everything's all still in pretty good shape. Um, all of our switches work. Of course, all of our gauges don't work, but that's not really expected. I've seen brand new boats where the gauges don't all work, so not a huge deal. You can get a lot of that information off of your graph. And this, I just have a battery up here for when I'm filming YouTube videos. That's all that wire was hanging there. But as you can see, the glove box over there, it's in good shape. And then here's the back deck. It's in good shape. Again, not perfect, but this is a 2005 model. So we've got access to our two live wells back here. And then we've got storage on either side. And then we've got the back part of this. Uh, the back part of the deck is just split into two. And that's where you can access the batteries and the uh, 
oil reservoir and all of the wiring and the cutoff switches and all of that stuff back here. The gas tank. And I keep an extra thing of oil back here just in case, but this is a 36 volt system. It's wired up with uh, onboard charging for four batteries. So I've got a I've got a three bank charger and then I've got a, a single bank charger that charges my fourth battery, but they're actually all set up to charge out of this cord that you see coming out of here. We'll take a look at that. Okay, so this is where you're gonna plug your extension cord into and this will allow you to charge all of the batteries in the boat. So that's super handy. Kind of another look at these seats. Now something that I really like is this thing right here. So this keeps people from tearing up my center seat here. So you can flip that up. That way you can sit on it and it's nice and comfy. Or you can flip it down and use this as a step. So that comes in super handy. And then you've got the built-in measuring board here. That came standard with the boat. You've got your live well controls down here. And this does have a hot foot as well. So there's a good look at the hot foot. Um, and here's another look at the console setup here. You do have a nice cooler right here in the center. Again, a little dirty, but all I'm putting is ice and drinks and stuff in there. So, uh, hey, if you guys want, I'll clean this sucker out. I, I apologize, I wasn't really prepared for this video. I probably should have cleaned this thing out a little better, but hey, it is what it is. This thing is used to, to fish out of. That's exactly what I do. So I don't always remember to clean it at the end of every trip. Okay, so from back here, you've got your tackle storage. So you've got plenty of storage back here for several trays. Pretty much everything I need to bring, I'm able to fit in here. As you can see, they have little dividers. So you can take these dividers out and you can make room for bigger boxes like this or smaller ones like this. So that's pretty handy. Then we've got our day box right here, and kind of like I was telling you, I've got just baits that I'm, I might want to throw, or just some catch-all stuff. Maybe maybe I don't want to put it back in the tackle box right away. It just kind of ends its way up in here, and then I can sort through it later. But I've got some fishing line, I've got glide baits, I've got crappie plastics, I've got all kinds of stuff in here. Just kind of a catch-all, really, but it is handy to have this for sure. Um, and as you can see, I have a little tool organizer that I've got pliers and scissors and stuff. This thing's pretty handy. Just something I added, uh, something that I got off a of tackle warehouse. But that does come in handy because I've always got my tools right there, right where I need them. And there you can see where I've got my camera mounted. So that way when I'm doing a video or wanting to get some fish catches on footage, I've got that right there. And we'll go over here and see, I've, I don't have a whole lot in here. I've got my anchor light and my nav light in here. I've got my measuring board and just some random stuff in here. Uh, that definitely ends up full when I'm taking the family with me, but when I'm not, it doesn't get too full. And then we've got life jackets and some extra baits and my covers for my units and just random stuff in here. And then we have our rod storage in here. You've got the dividers in here so it keeps your rods all nice and neat and keep you from getting all tangled up. But you can fit quite a few rods in here, really all I need. I know you see some people taking these dividers out and stuff like that, but I find it that I can store plenty in here. And as you can see, I've got some of the kids stuff in here still, but if I'm going fishing by myself, I've got plenty of room. So here's kind of a different look at the Comfort Troll recessed foot pedal tray and that Ashmore Marine Products bow plate. We've got our Minkota heading sensor up here. And I did replace this. This was getting all torn up and stuff, so I replaced that with some different C deck type stuff there. And then that's where you're going to put your nav light. So, um, and then the other thing that we didn't really look at was that trailer winch there we'll get a better look at that um, and that is something that I added as well but yeah this is if you guys are interested in getting it with 
this trolling motor. This is the Ultrax iPilot Link 45 inch and this has the US2 transducer built into it so um, that's why I have that external MDI mounted to the bottom and then I've got the Mega Live right here alongside the Mega 360 so yeah if you guys are interested in getting all that with the boat we can definitely work out a deal again like I said definitely motivated to sell this thing but here's kind of a, a look at it here's the motor the motor is scratched up this cowling is um, you know the guy that had it from me he's he's owned it since the day it was rolled off a lot and he was a big crappie guy so he spends a lot of time up in the trees and there is a there is some damage on the back of here um, you know it doesn't keep you from pulling it off and putting it back on or anything but it is scratched up kind of just your normal wear and tear to be honest with you nothing too alarming there's a better look at that you know I've priced a new cowling but I've decided to just kind of hold off on it especially since I'm getting rid of it but somebody was gonna make this their forever boat it's it's not a huge expense and I've got just so you guys if in case you guys are wondering I've got a different transducer rigged up than what I normally run just for like some video work stuff that I do um, so that's why you're seeing this ran on the outside of the boat here and I've got my old transducer rigged up back here so that way when I'm done doing this video I can actually sw swap those transducers back to where they belong but nothing too surprising here it's got a manual jack plate and then I've got the RMP motor toter back here this is a great boat if you guys are interested in getting into a nice used boat this is a, a really good bang for your buck honestly if it doesn't sell I won't mind keeping it just gotta just gotta get some finances in order that's that's all I may, I may go back with something a little bit newer. So there's that new winch. That's a nice Fulton. Um, and then I, I didn't go with the fancy jack, but the jack needed replaced, so I did replace that. You know, you've got some corrosion and stuff just from getting chipped up on the highway and stuff like that on the trailer, but you're not going to expect the trailer to be in brand new, pristine condition. But honestly, this gel coat fiberglass is in really good shape. You know, the guy, like I said, the guy that owned it before me, he was fishing up in the trees and doing a lot of crappie fishing and stuff, but he took good care of it. This boat was actually stored inside its whole life, so. Um, now, I've had it for the last two years, and I have stored it outside, but it's always been under a cover. So, it's still in good shape. The weather is not getting to it, for sure. But... There you guys go. If you're interested, make sure you put a comment down in the comment section below or get a hold of me on Facebook or something like that. My name is John Morse if you guys are looking for me. Um, or you can uh, just search Behind the Reel, Behind the Reel Fishing on Facebook and pretty much all social media platforms and you'll be able to find me. All right, guys. I just want to thank you guys for tuning in. Share this video for me. Help me get this boat sold. And I know a lot of you guys are looking up these older boats. So some of you may be just stopping by to admire this beautiful old boat. And uh, I think these old Skeeters are definitely a great breed. You know, very related to like the 20i and the 21i. This is a 20 foot boat for those of you that don't know. Um, but yeah, this is going to be, I believe, the same hole as the, as the I boat. So, um, you know, those are some of the most sought after boats out there. But... You know, you hear guys talk really highly of these ZX boats, especially these older ones. They handle really well. They handle rough conditions well, and they ride really smooth. So if you're new to running a bass boat, this is definitely a great introduction. Um, and even if you've been running bass boats forever, you're going to love the way that this thing rides. All right, guys, I want to thank you for tuning in. We'll see you on the next one.